Okay, up on the screen here, we have a dynamic property search based smart campaign in bold trails. So what do we mean by this when we say dynamic property based? Well, every one of these touches is day 7, 14 and 21 is sending a link to some listings for that specific property search. And when we say dynamic, what we mean is that when you come to that specific link, I'm going into our squeeze link builder here, when you build it one time, it's actually always going to be up to date with the latest listings in that search. So you only need to build it once, and then if somebody receives that link in the future as part of an automated campaign, it'll always show the most up to date listings. So what we can do with this is build some interesting follow-up campaigns without really having to create any of our own content because we can just let the property sort of do the work of being interesting, which is when most people come into your fold, they're just looking for real estate info. So you're sending them more of the same real estate info uh, in just an interesting way, kind of spinning up the data that's coming into your website via your feed with your MLS. So anyway, let's look at one of these emails. And what we've done in our campaign is basically copy the same email multiple times and just change it up a bit to match the type of property. So our subject line is property list of the week, area new construction tampa new construction philly new construction you can kind of do the philly new construction dash property list of the week if you want and, and mix this up and then the body is high name so we would merge in the first name of the person remember inside of our smart campaigns if we go and look at this particular email it says high name but what we should do is use the personalization under the little sun type merge tag thing right here and say hi lead first name we get our merge tag in there uh, this week's area property list of the week is new construction click this link now what you're going to do is you're going to swap in the link that you build one time from the lead engine from the squeeze link builder and you're going to hyperlink to that using the chain that's up top here click this link to see all currently available new construction homes available in the area now then your name right here my friend shelly here swap out that name uh the and and then the PS says the link above is always up to date with the latest new construction properties available on the market. Be sure to save this email or bookmark this link if this is something you might be interested in. So again, you can reword this however you want, but we're basically letting them know that this link is always up to date. They should bookmark it. And then the PPS is if you're not interested in new construction, but would like a different list, reply back and I'll send you a link that better fits your search criteria. You could also say I'll set you up for alerts that fit those criteria and then use the features of Bold Trail, the automatic property search alerts to set them up on that search. So going back, we've got this as our first touch after seven days and then what we do is repeat this process for different niche focused searches and you'll see on day 14 week two we have luxury on day 21 we have fixer uppers and then we can continue on and do all sorts of stuff like uh, golf properties income properties low price properties price reduced you know you can spin your mls data any way you want and as a guide for doing that just go into the lead engine in the system and start to play with the search filters here so you could say homes with big square footage homes with small square footage homes priced over two million dollars uh homes of all these different styles bungalows farmhouses you right here uh all these options down at the bottom open houses uh, pool homes waterfront water view so you can see that you can pretty quickly build out a campaign that maybe goes for a year or so once a week sending a new property list of the week where you only create the links one time and then it's evergreen so any new buyer leads you get even any new uh seller leads you get you put them on this interesting kind of drip smart campaign that's always sending interesting property data and at the the kind of core of this is the fact that any squeeze link you build in the system is always up to date with the latest data this is very useful um, you can also do area pages the same way um, that's kind of a, a subject for another video uh, but area pages are the pages in the system let me build you one right here where at the end of your URL, you can do areas slash, and then you can do any zip code or any city name or any neighborhood name, and it brings up a page like this. And these pages are always up to date as well. So uh, our example here will be down in uh, Florida. We'll do Gulfport. And you see the Gulfport town down there in Pinellas County in Florida will always have all these links up to date. And you could send an email that says the area of the week is the featured area or neighborhood of the week is Gulfport. So uh, just know that these dynamic property links exist in the system. We have the area pages and we have our IDX squeeze page links and that you should use them 
in your drip campaigns, your smart campaigns to make them more interesting so that you don't have to think up original content. You basically just grab this formula that I just showed you for the script and repeat it over and over again basically say the same thing and just swap out new construction for luxury. I actually just did a search and replace in my Google Doc to make my first three right here. So if you'd like to see more content like this and if you'd like a share campaign uh, for this particular campaign, you can share campaigns in Bold Trail. If you'd like for me to create a share campaign once I'm done building out this generic list with say 10 to 20 of these niche ideas, go ahead and comment down below and I'll make sure I post that share campaign once this is ready. Thanks for watching this video here from Inside Real Estate. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel, insiderealestate.com slash YouTube to get more tips and tricks uh, like this one.